Hello everyone. In our rapidly advancing technological world, many inventors and their incredible creations from the past are forgotten. Today, we will explore some of these remarkable inventions and their creators. The Ogle Carburetor, Tom Ogle. In the 1970s, Tom Ogle, an inventor with no formal engineering background, claimed to have designed a carburetor that could significantly increase fuel efficiency. Dubbed the Ogle Carburetor, it was said to allow a car to travel over 160 kilometers on just 3.7 liters of gasoline, a record at the time. This innovation threatened both the automotive and oil industries, as it eliminated the need for a carburetor and fuel pump by drawing fuel vapor directly from the tank using a series of vacuum lines. Despite its simplicity, Ogle's invention promised improved mileage and reduced emissions. However, Ogle's story is one of tragedy and controversy. After refusing a $125 million offer for his patent, Ogle mysteriously died from an alleged overdose of alcohol and prescription drugs. Friends and doctors suspected foul play, but no definitive evidence was found. Water-powered car Stanley Meyer Stanley Meyer shocked the world by claiming to have invented a car that ran on water. His water fuel cell purportedly separated water into hydrogen and oxygen, which were then used to power the engine, emitting only water vapor as exhaust. Critics argued that Meyer's invention defied basic laws of physics, but he reportedly demonstrated a car traveling 5,000 kilometers on 22 gallons of water. Despite skepticism and legal battles over his patents, Meyer's water-powered car offered a glimpse of a potentially greener future. The Reif Machine Royal Raymond Reif Royal Raymond Reif, an early proponent of bioelectric medicine, developed the Reif machine which he claimed could destroy pathogens, including cancer cells, by using their resonant frequencies. His device emitted energy at frequencies that supposedly targeted pathogens without harming surrounding healthy tissue. Despite initial interest in some reported successes, the medical community eventually discredited Reif's work, leading to the destruction of his lab and records in a mysterious fire. Reif died in obscurity, and his machine remains a controversial topic. The Tucker Car, Preston Tucker. Preston Tucker's innovative automobile, the Tucker 48, challenged the major car manufacturers of his time. With features like a third headlight that turned with the car, a padded dashboard, and a rear engine, the Tucker 48 was ahead of its time in both safety and design. However, Tucker faced financial difficulties, negative media coverage, and legal battles. Although acquitted of fraud charges, his company went bankrupt, producing only 51 cars. The Tucker 48 remains a symbol of innovation stifled by established industry practices. Cloudbuster Wilhelm Reich Wilhelm Reich, a controversial figure in psychoanalysis and science, invented the Cloudbuster, a device he claimed could manipulate orgone energy to influence weather and health. Comprising hollow tubes connected to water, the Cloudbuster supposedly drew orgone energy from the atmosphere to create rain. Despite some reported successes, Reich's theories were dismissed as pseudoscience, leading to the destruction of his equipment and publications by the FDA. Reich was imprisoned for contempt of court and died in prison, leaving his Cloudbuster shrouded in mystery. Cold Fusion Martin Fleischmann and Stanley Pons. In 1989, chemists Martin Fleischmann and Stanley Pons announced they had achieved cold fusion, a nuclear reaction at room temperature that could provide virtually limitless clean energy. Their experiment involved electrolyzing heavy water with a palladium electrode. However, the scientific community was unable to replicate their results, leading to widespread skepticism and labeling their work as pseudoscience. Despite the controversy, a small group of scientists continues to explore cold fusion's potential. Aerowagon Valerian Abakovsky. In the early 20th century, Valerian Abakovsky invented the Aerowagon, 
a propeller-driven rail car designed to transport Soviet officials quickly between Moscow and Tula. Tragically, in 1921, the aero wagon derailed, killing Abakovsky and everyone on board. This disaster cast a shadow over the concept of propeller-driven trains and marked a cautionary tale about the dangers of overambition. Anti-gravity device Thomas Townsend Brown Thomas Townsend Brown's experiments with electrogravitics suggested that powerful electric fields could affect gravity. His devices, including a high-voltage capacitor that seemingly levitated, sparked interest in anti-gravity research. Critics attributed the observed effects to I don't wind, a known phenomenon, and questioned the practical viability of Brown's work. Despite continued private research, Brown never produced a working anti-gravity device, and his experiments remain enveloped in conspiracy theories and speculation. Avracar John Frost John Frost's Avracar, developed in the 1950s, aimed to combine the hovering ability of helicopters with the speed of jets. The flying saucer-shaped vehicle used a turbine to create a cushion of air for lift. Despite significant investment, the Avracar struggled with stability and control, achieving only limited altitude. The project was eventually cancelled, though it contributed to the understanding of VTOL vertical takeoff and landing technologies. What do you think about these inventions? Share your thoughts in the comments. See you in the next video.